we're standing with our feet a little bit wider than the shoulders to begin with. <clears throat> and we'll we'll have make sure it's just your fingertips resting on your on your temples. Okay. Not, yep. And then yeah, pause. Uh, that's it. So start with a wide stance, guys. All right. So, start, so you want to sit up in a nice tall upright spinal position. And we lift the dumbbells up to shoulder height. And then one dumbbell is going to go up and down as the other one's being held. Okay, so we just... And we're going to drop into a squat and we're going to do a bit of a circle. Okay, so we're going to do three reps, then we drop down, we do another three reps. So we're going to have one hand is going to just touch the wall at the top of the row only. As we lower the weight, we take that hand off the wall. Oh. Okay, okay, cool. What, what sizes have you got? I think I've got a six and an eight. Okay. We need to make sure. So the most important thing, so just watch your foot positioning, Sonia. Oh, yeah. we, we need to make sure that the toes are angled down towards the floor. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You guys have got the, the foot angle, which is, which is the most important part. Take the legs forwards, only one to five centimetres. Okay, so forwards and back. The whole time we're pushing our lower back into our fingers on the floor. Out. Then we do a little bit more of an arc. Okay, so we go one set with the elbows in, pressing up and down. One set with the elbows out, pressing up and down. We do six each, so 12 wall up. Yeah, flex them back and then angle them down as you flex them back, yeah. yeah it's only, like, it doesn't have to be two angled down but um as long as like your the heel is higher than your little toe 